<laughs> Let's do some trending news. Marcus is in North Aurora. Good morning. Hey, good morning. It is Halloween weekend and we are checking out some of the best decorated Halloween houses around the area. This is Inferno Manor of Tanner Trails and I'm sitting on the Bone Throne is what they call this, the Bone Throne. But uh, I'm, I'm going to get up here and uh, show you the rest of this incredible yard. You can see they've got the giant skeletons. This is like the haunted cornfield section of the yard. The Clemensic family puts this on every year. They've been doing it for a couple of years. And you know, when you're walking through here, you just never know like what you're going to find or who you're going to find hanging out in the yard there. Oh, got a little sneeze going on inside that, but uh, you know spooky creatures all throughout the yard here. The kids are up this morning. You guys always up this early? Uh, no. Yeah. No, they're like, no, no definitely not. But uh, it's going to be fun for your parents later on. I know it is. Take a look at this haunted graveyard they got going on over here. Skeletons carrying the casket. They just started doing this a couple of years ago. Some awesome lighting effects up upstairs too with the fire going on hence the Inferno Manor. But I'm gonna give you a special treat. You won't get to see this if you come out uh, to the place, but all the decorating goes on inside the house um, as well. So we're actually gonna walk inside and take a look at, take a look at their dining room uh, during Halloween. This is their house. This is their dining room uh, during Halloween. You got the whole uh, Halloween party going, party going on in there, which is really cool. And it goes through, I can't even time to show you the rest of the house, but it is pretty amazing uh, that they're doing this. So uh, come on down and check them out. They're on uh, in North Aurora. All the information is up on our website, wgntv.com slash LeShock. You can find the address. And they've got another house right around the corner. Uh, one of their neighbors does an awesome uh, display as well. We're gonna see here next hour. But first, let's do some uh, trending news here uh, as well. Um, this story a lot of people are talking about somebody has five billion dollars in cryptocurrency but they might not have access to it take a look at this between august and october of last year a buyer purchased 70 trillion shiba inu coins for thirteen thousand dollars now more than a year later it's valued at five billion dollars that's billion with a b a 38.4 million percent increase but the uh, online wallet hasn't shown any activity for nearly 200 days so people are wondering if the person can't access the funds anymore we've heard about that people uh, losing access to their wallets and all of a sudden billions of dollars they can't actually cash in on so we'll see the shiba unicorn's been uh, the rage uh, over the last uh, few weeks or so